Hi, I'm Lucy, your narrator. Thanks for joining me for another video, and if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. Before we get started, please kindly take a moment right now and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted of every time I upload a new video. And also please watch this video to the end to see the preview trailer and a couple of behind the scenes photos. I Remember Mama is a drama and family movie. It was released in the USA in 1948 and it stars Irene Dunn and Barbara Bel Geddes. And some of their co-stars were Ellen Corby, Rudy Valley, Edgar Bergman, Philip Dorn, and Oscar Homolka. It was directed by Aliyah Kazan, and this movie was nominated for five Oscars. The movie is about a young writer recalls her ups and downs of growing up as one of four children to Norwegian immigrant parents in 1910s San Francisco. Producer Harriet Parsons initially brought in director George Cukor, hoping he could persuade Greta Garbo to come out of retirement. Marlene Dietrich sought the lead road, but was regarded as not maternal enough. Parsons then tried to cast recent Oscar winner Katina Paxino, even considering changing the family's origin to Greek. After RKO took over the project, Irene Dunn was cast and she recommended George Stevens as director. Greta Garbo turned down the role of Martha around the same time she also rejected the lead in Alfred Hitchcock's The Paradine Case in 1947. She is reputed to have commented, no murderesses and no mamas. And Marlon Brando made his Broadway debut as Nels in the original play. Also, Jessica Tandy was cast as Aunt Trina, but dropped out to do A Woman's Vengeance in 1948. Barbara Bel was 26 years old when she made this movie, even though the character that she played was a schoolgirl nearing her school graduation. Irene Dunn worked with dialect coach Judith Slater for two months to perfect her Norwegian accent. Dunn became so immersed in her getting her character's voice down that she used the accent around her home with her family. And in order to physically submerse herself in the role of Mama, Irene Dunn wore no makeup and used body padding to make herself appear heavier. And this film reunited Edgar Bergman and Rudy Valley. Bergen owed his successful radio career to his debut in a series of guest appearances on Valley's extremely popular radio program in the early 30s. And this was the first film in which ventriloquist Edgar Bergen appeared without his dummy, Charlie McCarthy. Edgar Bergen and Ellen Corby, who played newlyweds Mr. and Mrs. Thorkelson, respectively, would both go on some 22 years later to play Grandpa and Grandma Walton in The Homecoming, A Christmas Story. could remember, the house on the Larkin Street Hill had been home. Papa and Mama had both been born in Norway. All of us were born here. Nell's the oldest, my sister Christine, and the littlest sister, Dagmar. But first and foremost, I remember Mama, with her very secret bank account and a wide open heart for other people's troubles. Marta, I want to get married. Serena is wonderful. Yeah, I think it is. Who is? Mr. Torkelson. From the funeral parlor. Will you help me tell the others? And uh, Uncle Chris? But so what is? What do you want? Well, it, it was a question of, of Trina's dowry. Her what? Dowry. Uh, her dowry. So Trina wants dowry? She's 42 years no, old. Uncle Chris.
If you like that one, we've got a lot more. Hotter than your morning coffee. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now and be blessed.